Howdy folks, we're back for another round. I just went through and uh, put all the uh, metallics on the uh, vehicles and the mechs and as you can see here our Jenner's kind of mutated a little bit more. I got the wash on all the metallics and I also used some XV88 around the base to give it a contrast with the green. So it's the brown gives it a nice uh, contrast around that. Now, what I was looking at, the uh, um, LRM carrier here, and I was like, well, I'm not too happy with this, the way it looks. There's just not enough lines. Like, if you look at, like, this Von Lechter comparatively, the SRM carrier has a whole bunch of flat areas, so you don't see a lot of contrast to it. So what I plan on doing is I'll uh, camouflage it, you know, comparatively to this. This looks good enough just by itself with the uh, color coordination of the three different colors on it and the metallic. So what I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I did a kind of a camouflage scheme. It's been a long time since I've done one like that. Uh, I did a test bed on that one, and then I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do on this one right here. So, what we'll do is that we have some P3 paints here. I got a uh, kind of a ratty brush that no longer holds its point very well. It's only like five years old, but it's going to uh, get used. This used to be a, Karin or a Kalinsky brush, but... Well, it's on its last leg. So what we're gonna do is I have some P3, I got some rucksack tan, I have some uh, bloodstone, I have, um, what is this one, the Ordic olive, and then we have some Ocean green, and then we have some um, umbral uh, umber so we have some browns and some green colors so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go with the, uh, the lighter tan and just get some on my brush here a little bit and then what I'm going to do is just go take the brush and go straight down so I flay the, uh, the, the head of the brush out and I'm just going to tap it and what it does is give us a um, spotted effect throughout the hair area. So we'll just get a little more on the brush and just go through and add that everywhere. So we have our base color on there and then we're going to add some little bit of life to this thing. And, you know, don't worry about, you know, you have too much of a light brown color with everything because with all those other colors that are going over it, it's going to uh, blend together pretty nicely. There's one color, oops, when you get a little too much on there. So now I got a big blob. So, yeah, that happens. Now. That's gone, so we go to the next color, which is this kind of a rust color. Doesn't matter if they blend together a little too much. All right, and then you just go over that in other areas, especially if you see an area that, like I did before, where I got too much in one spot, you put a little bit over that, and that changes the whole look of the color real quick. And it's already changing a little bit. Look. And we'll just keep going at this a little bit here. And there we go. Kind of like, actually reminds me of the, uh, like a German camouflage scheme of the modern 
uh, troop uniforms. I guess it's from the 80s. All right, so we got the browns on there. So now we got already got three colors. Bring in a little bit of darker shade here. And that will go in there and give us a little bit of depth. You don't need much of this one. Especially now the other thing is like um, you can go through and use like I said before just use a brush and then uh, brush it on in the different way places all right so now we had some of that brown in the brush already and then we added some green and that gives us a darker green in some places because the brown and the green mix together because it's a more of a um, more of a transition back to the green that we had so what you're doing is you're knocking down some of those browns a bit and then we're going to go back and bring out some more all right so now we go back to the lighter green mix that in there so now we got a bright green color and you go back over you just lightly hit some areas and you're looking at some of the places where you want to break up that brown some a little bit more lighter and we'll go back and bring in more green so it's even cleaner and we're going to brighten it up so there we go so we'll have some spots here that are really bright not too bright There we go. Now we have a uh, camouflaged vehicle. Got a camel scheme all over it. I think I'm going to do these um, after seeing this, these galleons, I'm going to probably camouflage those guys too. So now I got those camouflaged and what we'll do is maybe I'll do another quick video and show you how I flock my bases. It's not really rocket science, but uh, I got my, my own mixture of uh, um, paints, or not paints, but uh, flocking. I'll just show you all the different kinds and where I get them. All right, we'll talk to you later.